Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk about the importance of thinning your seedlings and I'm going to show you how I thin mine with these couple of flats of snapdragons I started a couple of weeks ago. And it's just something that those of us who are starting flower and vegetable seeds indoors should be thinking about as we're growing our things and getting ready for the season. And I just saw a video put out by Luca and my gardener. He was thinning all of his vegetable seedlings and it reminded me that I needed to get with it because typically I like to thin mine when they're about this size and these are a little bit past uh, time, it'll be completely fine. Um, but he actually went into quite a bit of detail about different types of crops and how you thin them. Um, so I will link his video down below. You should check it out if you wanna learn a little bit more. He also uses the same tool that I like to use for thinning. These are the Fiskars uh, Microtip Snips. They're just really good for fine jobs like this. I use them for flower arranging too. So I keep them all over the place in like multiple drawers. So I'll link these down below as well. I also told you guys in my Instagram stories that I would show you how to thin when my Snapdragons got bigger. So anyway, that is me following through today with this video. So thinning is a pretty simple concept. Typically we plant two or three seeds per cell because you're not guaranteed that every single seed is gonna germinate and come up. But if you're giving them the right treatment, uh, oftentimes you'll end up with a flat that looks like this, which is way too crowded. So the goal is to take each cell from maybe three seedlings or four or however many seeds ended up in that cell down to just one plant. And that way they're not in competition with, with each other because each plant needs nutrients, water, light, airflow. And if you've got four plants in each single cell, they're all competing for those things. So if you thin it down to one, you just have a much better chance of that seedling thriving and being a really healthy, vigorous plant. So what I like to do is look at each cell. Each one of them is going to be different. Like I see some that just have one nice little plant in here. And then I see one right here that has like 11 seedlings in it. These snapdragon seeds are so small. And by the end of planting this one, I was just kind of going like this with the seeds, just hoping that all the cells would end up with plants in them. So they definitely need to be thinned out. So let's Let's take this one for example. I've got three nice seedlings in there. You don't necessarily want to pick the biggest one. I like to pick one that's the, as close to the center of each cell as possible so it's in a really good position. Um, so right here, I like the position of this seedling right here, uh, even though it's a little bit shorter than this one. So I'm going to go in with my stips and you just cut each seedling that you don't want off at soil level just like that. That one was as close to the center as possible. So let's look at the next one. There are, let me see if I can even see how many there are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seedlings in that cell. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the outermost seedlings away first, and then we'll see how many are left in the center. Ooh, it's a little breezy out here today. Okay, so I took it down to three. And this one right here on my left, you're probably seeing it on your right, is right in the center. So I'm gonna take the other two away. And when you cut these off at soil level, they stop growing. So you see the next cell over, I didn't get any seeds in the center, just this one off to the side, which there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. And then let's just do this cell right here. I see one, two, three, four, five seedlings. So I'm just gonna start cutting away the ones I don't think I want. Let's see, and then there's two really close together. So you gotta be careful. All right, let's get the cut ones out. And then I'm gonna kind of prop that one up a little bit with the soil. So this next one is a complete cluster. There are so many in there. So I hope that you guys can see what's going on. But I'm gonna take the outermost ones away first and see what we're left with. How many were in there? My goodness. Okay, so you can see there's three lined up right there. I'm gonna take the two outer ones away. All right, so that's basically how you thin. I'm gonna finish up both of these flats quick. done and this is what they should look like just one seedling per cell and now they have ample room to grow and spread out um, they're not competing with each other and the reason why I like to cut them at soil level rather than pull them is because when they're planted so close together their root systems are inevitably kind of growing together and if you pull one out it might disrupt the root system of the one you want to stay um, and so I just don't like to risk that this is just the easiest most effective way to do it without damaging any plants so that's it you guys that is all there is 
is to thinning your plants. I'm gonna put these back inside underneath the grow light. That's where these have been living. I just brought them outside quick for this video because I thought you might be able to see the detail a little better because the lighting is a whole lot better. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.